Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, I bring you a message from Holy Love Ministry. This one is dated May 20th, 2019, and it reads as follows. He says, Take care, children, what you accept in your heart as truth. For this determines your eternal destiny. So much is given under the guise of authority, which serves to pull you off guard in the long run. An example, of course, is the legalization of abortion. No one has the right to legalize sin. It is during these times that the realization of sin has succumbed to confusion and even disregard. My commandments are misinterpreted. They are redefined to suit individual consciences. The Holy Spirit is unable to nourish such souls with the truth. Self-righteousness has become the garment of Satan's deceit. Do not regard yourselves as the holiest you need to be. Always try to grasp a deeper understanding of the ways in which you need to improve. Every soul needs to come deeper into my paternal heart. No soul is perfect or without sin. This is what you need to be certain of, not the falsehood that you are already perfected in holiness. It is a strength to understand your own weaknesses. Do not succumb to spiritual pride. We are then led to read 1 Timothy 4, 7 and 8 have nothing to do with godless and silly myths. Train yourself in godliness, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, I love you, save souls. Jesus, Mary, I love you, I give my heart to thee. We pray for all of the prayer intentions of our hearts, for the conversion of our family, friends, and acquaintances, for the poor, the homeless, the elderly, for people with special needs and their caregivers, the sick, the dying, the unloved, the lonely for the healing of all victims of any kind of abuse and for the cleansing of all of the evils that are rampant within your church. Dear Jesus, bless us and perfect your church, cleanse your church, Almighty God. We ask all of this of the Father in your name, Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.